Hey, what's up, guys? My name is the Captain Gamer. So today we are gonna check out a new launcher for Minecraft Java Edition on phones. So, as you guys already know, Pojo Launcher is no longer available on Play Store. Yes, I checked, and now there's a new launcher in store called Mojo Launcher. And I kid you not, this is actually pretty fast and it's optimized for low-end devices. So. As you guys can see right here, you can of course install it from the Play Store, it has a good review. And yeah, a lot of comments are saying it's optimized for low-end devices, which is pretty cool because uh, yeah, I have a low-end device with myself right here, it's really cheap, but let's see if we can run Minecraft Java Edition on our phone. So whenever you install this for the first time, you will be greeted by this screen right here, which asks you for a Microsoft account. Of course, if you don't have a Microsoft account, you can go for a local account. So I just did that and it puts you in this screen right here which it selects 1.12.2 by default. So uh, you might know 1.12.2 is a pretty old version but for the sake of trying we just gonna install 1.12.2. So I have already installed this version right here and now we are just gonna go ahead and click on play. So it will load and you guys will see how fast this is guys. Like this is legit more speed than Oja launcher which I have used. So as you guys can see it has booted up pretty fast. So we have these controls right here, we can also customize this. Um, I don't know about how we can install mods or even it has Optifine support or something, I don't know because this launcher is pretty new. And yeah, like the Minecraft music kicks in and as you guys can see, it's all pretty fast. So I've already created a world and tested it out, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna click on the menus here. So in options, it just gives you all these low end levels, I mean, low end settings from the get go so that you don't fry your phone and yeah. For the sake of this video, let's just go ahead and create a new world. So I'm just gonna name it phone world. So it will just go right up and load our world. And I can show you how the performance is. Right. So it's like a big improvement from Poja Launcher, guys. So as you guys saw, that clip was not sped up. So yeah, the loading time is pretty quick. And yeah, like the experience is just so smooth. I mean the render distance is pretty low but like you can do stuff you can like break stuff I don't know you can just long press to break stuff too that's actually pretty cool as you guys can see 1.12 is running pretty smoothly on my device so far my device is actually pretty low end it is a budget device so it's pretty surprising to see how well this does so as you guys can see I'm just beating up a whole lot of horses here and yeah it's actually it runs pretty fine oh my goodness what have I done all right all right bro this is bad this is bad no here and yeah you can like access your inventory and stuff as you guys can see and we can also use the mouse for accessing different elements so that is pretty awesome right there not just that you can also access the debug menu you can chat so i'm just gonna chat something as you guys can see you can also access do fi and stuff yeah it's pretty much the computer experience but optimized for your phone so and not just that my phone is relatively cold the temperature has not increased which was not the case with poja launcher so this is pretty fast so now i'm just gonna go ahead into creative mode and show you guys so as you guys can see we are now right here and if we go to our inventory we get access to all the blocks so you can just build whatever you want it is also really nice and fast so yeah the experience so far has been really nice you can like build stuff hold on and we should be fine i mean what's wrong with this all right bro that was actually pretty amazing wait why is the random fire over there what is happening oh this is a lava pool okay all right so if i were to increase the render distance what would happen let's find out so right now it's at six chunks which shouldn't really impact performance that much oh look we have clouds and yeah this is still running pretty smoothly i kid you not bro this is actually like like i'm really flying right now and bro this is much much better than Poja launcher right i can't believe this is running on my phone right now man so yeah you guys might be screaming at me right now saying yo this is an older version you can't just use it and pretend like your phone is some sort of a gaming phone right here and yeah i'd say you're right so let's just check out the newer versions so first up i'm just gonna get out of this world right now so now i'm just gonna go ahead and create a new instance so you can you really can install Optifine bro. So yeah, here's the proof you can install Optifine if you want. But for the sake of this video, again, I'm just gonna create a new vanilla instance. So you can just name your installation to whatever. I'm just gonna 
Game with this newer version. Uh, what's this? Default control map. So you can select custom controls if you want. Ah, here's the version. So you just need to select it. So installed in here we have 1.0.2. Ooh, we even have 1.21, man. So that will be fun to check out. But I'm just gonna go ahead and go for a slightly older version. For example, yeah, let's just go 1.16 that will be okay so just create a name and yeah that's it I'm just gonna save it and click on play so if 1.16 doesn't boot then i don't think it is any better than poja launcher guys because i used to play 1.16 on poja launcher so uh, yeah i think 1.16 would be definitely a better experience than straight up crashing what do you guys think let me down in the comments Okay, it's loading, it's doing something. Oh my goodness. Hey, you chill. This is Minecraft 1.16, bro. On my phone, like I can't. Bro, I can't believe it's happening right now. It's loading right now. I mean, it's taking its sweet time, definitely. But that's expected, especially for a phone. But like, Pojo Launcher used to struggle so bad, man. Like, I had to wait for like 30 minutes for the world to load. For the game to load overall so yeah this is definitely a step in the right direction and i'm kind of thankful that mojo launcher is here to save the day for us android fans who are waiting to emulate java edition on our phones i think they have done a really good job man like so far so good and see i'm in 1.16 like it's definitely kind of laggy but that's a given I mean, these newer versions are even laggy on PCs too, bro. Like, if you use Optifine, you can definitely improve the performance. But, like, right now, it's just badly play playable, man. Like, if I go into the debug menu. Okay. So, I'm just getting, like, around about 60 FPS, 55. I mean, it's just fluctuating. Yeah, but other than that, it's actually kind of playable, man. Like, I mean, just exploring the world doing normal stuff yeah you get like 40 fps when you load new chunks so the fps is kind of getting tanked right now but as you load the world more often i don't think you'll run into any issues like i'm just completely fine man unless you have like a lot of entities right here you won't feel a thing yeah 1.16 definitely runs pretty cool like it's actually unbelievable man but here we have memory allocation guys so i'm just going to increase it slightly like I have an 8 GB phone, so I'm going to give it like 4 GB for it. Now let's just go ahead and try it to run 1.21. Wait, what? Alright bro, I don't think setting 4 GB was a good idea. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, it has finally loaded guys, as you guys can see, it is one of the newest versions and right here it is running on my phone without any errors. Like, Pojo Launcher would have struggled so hard man. As you guys can see here we have the options, let's just make sure. Okay bruh, I just need to reduce this. Yeah, that's it. I mean, oh my goodness, I'm just gonna create a new world right now guys. I still can't believe how well this runs. Like. This is my phone, what the heck? Alright, let's just go ahead and create our 1.21 world. Just go into creative. Yeah, like I'm excited to see how well this performs. Like, if it is really viable, we won't even need a PC in order to play Minecraft Java, guys. Like, this is literally running on my potato phone. Imagine if you have like a really expensive or a gaming phone. Then your experience might be really good like you can even connect an external keyboard and mouse and like i don't know use optifine sodium or other mods and play like a champ yeah so it's loading terrain right now oh my goodness <laughs> we are actually in here man oh my god the lag so we are getting around 20 fps yeah that was kind of expected man like you know versions past 1.18 were always laggy on phones so uh, it's not surprising but i mean it's actually kind of playable like you can see right here we are loading the chunks we are moving around inside a jungle and i don't think i really see any clearing issues right here we are consistently getting up to 
around about oh my god man <laughs> it's just lag like crazy right here so we are like getting around 20 fps that's our average yeah i think even though that's kind of bad it's not bad for a phone you know especially for a phone that's like really cheap you can actually get to experience the game man imagine the performance gain you would like get if you were using optifine or sodium for example yeah that would be really nice so yeah please sub for more i will be exploring more servers and like installing mods in here or whatever using optifine comparing the performance but this is the start of something crazy guys this is the start of mobile phone gaming so like if you don't have a pc just don't worry just emulate minecraft java on your phone <laughs> yep and also guys please make sure you use a paid account for servers and stuff please don't use cracked versions um this has been it i hope you enjoyed the video subscribe comment and i'll see you in the next one goodbye